perspective. Thank you, Jay. Being being that most HELOCs now are close to 9% range, do you believe we should have a minimum cash flow on hand before applying? Um, question mark. Or getting HELOC as soon as possible is best. No. Getting a debt tool as soon as possible is not the best way to look at this, right? Because I can tell you that what you're saying, you're saying most HELOCs are at 9%, but not all of them. I have clients that are getting intro rate offers at five, six, seven percent on HELOCs. So there's still competitive tools out there, but you wouldn't know that if you didn't do your homework, right? So that right there, think about how much savings someone can have going from a nine percent rate to a six and a half or a six or five and a half, right? Starting. And then when you do velocity banking, you, you can manipulate six percent down to say three or two. It's a lot easier to manipulate from six to three than it is from nine to three, right? There's more work involved. And obviously you need more cash flow. Ideally, again, in a, in a preferred perfect, you know, environment, I would prefer people to have over $500 a month in cash flow with any debt tool, preferably. Now we could run the math where you're like, okay, we're starting with 200, but after we do our first chunk, we're going to be at 650 cash flow. And if everything else is in line, your credit, and we go apply for that debt tool and we found the best rate, then I'm like, go for it, right? Shoot, definitely. So to your part, the only thing I would say is that bottom part, I would not apply as soon as possible. That would, that, cause what happens when you get denied, right? You didn't do your homework. Anybody that gets denied for a HELOC, I promise you they did not do their homework. They did not ask all the questions. They did not talk to the bank. They did not build a proper relationship. They didn't take all the guessing work out and they got denied, right? I think very rare where someone like there's a reason when a bank does not approve you for something. There, there's an absolute reason and we can pretty much figure out what that is according to our credit report, right? So it's important to review that. 